All right, so today we're going to be finally testing out this little mains flushing unit with the reversible function on. So a little bit of amendments I've had to make. I've made these to 22mm, 15mm speed fit reducers. They're just for the dump hoses then. And that is basically the only amendment I've made. For those who haven't seen it, mains water is going to come in here into pressure reducing valve because some pro properties will be over three bar and I don't really want it running over three bar. Isolation valve for that. It'll come up, say this is connected to the flow pipe of the boiler. And that was open, that was off. The water would then flow around, coming down, connect this to the return pipe of the heating system through the dump and then you could alternate the flow by closing the flow side and opening the return so the water would come up then through the return down through the flow pipe of the heating system and out through the dump hope that makes sense it is quite something to get your head around at first with all these valves but now i've written dump on them too obviously that's self-explanatory that's your cold water mains in whichever side you have this open on is going to be which way the water is circulating around the system. Let's get it connected in. So I'm going to use the orange drain down hoses for the dump side. These shouldn't be used for main pre mains pressure. They're not going to be, they're always going to have an open end. So technically it's not going to be allowed to build up to mains pressure. That is going to go into a drain, which is covered in leaves. I'm going to connect the hose pipe. I'm trying to do this all outside, just in case we have any issues. First time we're using it, obviously. Um, Connect the hose pipe onto the cold mains in. So if we knock that off now. So you have a standing pressure of just over three bar. This might be set at three and a half. I need to reduce it down really. That's a decent pressure coming in. Obviously we'll be live. This is the boiler I'm going to connect it onto. So I'm going to cut in a connection here and then I'm going to add a deaerator into the system, a Trapex one that a little bit cheaper than the uh, Spyrotec one. So we'll give that a whirl, see what function there. And I'm basically going to disconnect them, magnet clean filter and a speed fit elbow straight onto that end. We're not going to be flushing around the boiler. So it'll be an elbow on the return and an elbow on the flow. First need to uh, drain the system down via that little drain off there. And these are the flushing hoses we're going to be using. Hopefully they're going to be long enough. I have put cleaner in this a week ago, so it's had some time to start breaking down any debris in the system before flushing it. It's not overly too bad as that. So that's one on. Ugh. Everything's kinked up because I've not used the hose before. <laughs> Bring it down via this, so I need an open end. damn clear that isn't it all right so i'm just cutting to the return I took out the return pipe this is obviously the deaerator removes micro bubbles from the system that's going to be going on you've got an arrow for the obviously the return that size the flow so we're coming back up the return so make sure that's the right way around that pipe needs shortening yeah but it's going to sit something like that obviously lower down like here but for now 
that's where I'm going to bang my speed fit elbow on into another one of these flushing hoses. Right, so that's all set up now. You only really need one dump hose, but yeah, you can have two if you want to. Just make sure you're swapping them over as and when you want to use the side where it's not got a hose on. So, because we've got it on this side now, we're going to send the, the water up, open this valve here. That's going to go into the, the flow and out the return, dumping that. All radiators are off bar one. We're going to let it flow around the radiator and then agitate it with a rubber mallet or you can buy agitators for your drill, for your SDS. And we're going to see what water quality comes out until it's running crystal clear. Then once it's running clear, flowing through the flow, flow side and out the return, we'll reverse the flow so it's running in the return and out the flow, agitate it again and see what happens until it's running clear and then we'll do that for every single radiator in the house. This radiator first was is closest. You can wrap a little bit of rag round. Basically, you're going to be tap, 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 all the way along the radiator. Probably will wrap a rag around this just so I don't put any black marks all over these designer rads. Now then, will anything leak? That should be now circulating around the system. Let's go and check inside. So far, so good. Put a magnet there just to see what, what it picks up. Right, so now we've done flushing round, flow to return out. Close that off. This might have a little bit of pressure left in it, yeah. I swapped the dump hose around, you see. Oh my God, can't do it one-handed. Right, so dump hose is on that side. What am I flowing up? We want to shut that off, open that. And now it'll start circulating, reversing the flow. Back down the return. Up the return, back down the flow. God, it's so confusing. So flushing it through at around two bar. No, I'm not, because I've not started dumping it yet. So the working pressure in this house is only just <laughs> over a bar, according to that. One eternity later. That's all back together now. I'll shove her back on. Can refill that when you're inhibitor when I finish this the area. Dose it up with some inhibitor. Just grease the o-ring up on that because you have a habit of weeping if you don't. This is the filter, about 75 quid from Direct Plumbing Spies I got it from, a little bit cheaper than the other brands. So it removes micro air bubbles out of the heating system, which obviously uh, causes corrosion. So it's a good little bit of kit to have on the system. 10 years guarantee as well. Bleed this first. I've got a de-aeration function on these back seats, well it's a main but same difference so we'll put it in de-air de function first. Both 
hot water and heating temperature dials to minimum. Quarter turn back and forth and on. No, she's not having it. There you go. What do you want to? Beautiful. This takes 10 minutes, I think it is. Between eight and 10 minutes for this deaeration function to run through. And I'll crack the heating up and hopefully we'll be able to hear this little bad boy pumping out some air. Let's wait for that, I'll just show you what the magnets picked up. You can see which side the hose pipe was it in. So that's pretty successful. It obviously wasn't the most filthiest system. You could tell that with the filter when I took it out, but I just wanted to demonstrate how this all works. I think it's better than just a mains flush around the flow and then out the return or whatever you would normally do on a mains flush on the boiler, which is most of the time what I do. You could attach a magna cleanse to this quite easily either side you wanted to put it on or just on one of the dump hoses to see what it's picking up um that's another option might do that as a video in the future but this i believe this setup here minus the speed fit fittings because you don't really need the speed fit fittings you could use end feed cost 64 quid and obviously you've got roughly i don't know two pound each for the speed fits there so let's say one two six and then you've got four on the pipes so six to uh, quick eight ten twenty quid of speed fit fitting so we're on 84 quid and then the hoses were 20 pound each and they're 10 meters in length so it's less than 100 quid for the full flushing kit i don't know how much the genuine for a flush unit is i've not got one i've, I've no idea and I, I believe you'd have to buy the hoses extra with them as well it's worth looking at this is a cheaper alternative it does work and the four flush unit doesn't have a pressure reducing valve on so obviously you've got an expense there as well so yeah overall i think it's a, a success i hope it all made sense on on what is what it is easier to have it in front of you and yeah but it's not it's, it's not rocket science granted the higher pressure system on the house the higher water pressure flow rate whereas on this one on this property it wasn't even a bar so the more pressure you've got flying through the better it's gonna work. Right now, let's fire that up. Beautiful. I did actually catch the deaerator releasing some air, but it's in portrait mode because I was filming this for short form as well. So I'll put that right at the end as well. But let me know your thoughts on this. Drop it down in the comments. Have you done something similar? Because obviously I'm not the first person to do this. I've, I've, I've seen it done before. Does it work? What flushing setup you use? Obviously it's not gonna beat a proper power flush machine, but this is a mains flushing unit. Damn sight cheaper. Still, I believe does the job. Let me know in the comments. I'll catch you on the next one.